Hey there, and welcome back. I'm Kunal, and in today's video, we're going to continue our discussion of geometry by talking about lines, angles, and triangles. Now, if you're looking to learn more about right triangles, special right triangles, and trigonometry, that won't be covered in this video, so make sure you check out the other videos we've made about it on our channel. The first main topic I wanted to cover today is that of similarity. So these are for the SAT math problems that tell you two triangles are similar. Now, similar triangles are triangles that have the same interior angles, but they have different side lengths. So their side lengths have ratios such that their corresponding sides are equal to one another, which means that AC over DF is equal to AB over DE, which is equal to BC over EF. Let's take a quick look at this example problem. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF are similar. What is the length of line segment DF? So we're given all of the side lengths of triangle ABC and we're given one side length for triangle DEF. So let's use the ratios we just talked about. So we'll know that AB over DE is equal to AC over DF. And let's just substitute in the values that we know. So we'll get eight over 12 is equal to 10 over side DF. So through this and some cross multiplication, we can find out that side DF is equal to 15 units. Next up, let's talk about complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles. Oftentimes, you'll see angles created by intersections of lines. Many angle problems on the SAT will have lines intersecting and will have you determine angle lengths. You will usually have to utilize the concepts of complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles in order to do this. A complementary angle formation occurs when the sum of two angles is 90 degrees. Now, whenever you see a flat line and the sum of the two angles is 180 degrees, they are considered supplementary angles. Now, vertical angles are two angles that form opposite to one another whenever two lines intersect. These opposite angles are equal to one another. Now, whenever two lines are parallel and are cut by a transversal line, then two different sets of vertical angles are created, and each set of angles A and B are supplementary as well. Now let's take a look at an example problem that employs these concepts. We know that lines M and N are parallel to one another and they are cut by a transversal line. We need to find the value of angle X, and in order to find X, we are going to have to subtract 26 degrees from 180 degrees, because we're given one of the angles to be 26. And since transversals create two sets of vertical angles, then that means you're going to have to subtract that 26 from 180 degrees in order to find the angle B. So this means angle X is going to be 154 degrees. And that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and are now ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems and access to a 24 seven online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying!